Oh, all right. We ready? <laughs> uh-huh. Then, starting in three, two, one. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to 4 Pixels. Coco is here with Rosh and Saku, and we are continuing Ace Attorney Investigations. Hello. Hello. We're ready. Ready for the anger. <laughs> oh yes, I was just explaining to the folks that no, we still have a little bit to we still have a fair bit to go with this case, and we're finally gonna start getting into the stuff that traumatized me. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. You've been traumatized. That, made me laugh. that was just nervous laughter. <laughs> You've been traumatized. <laughs> No, it, it worries me because if it makes Coco angry, it's gonna, probably going to make me angry because me and Coco tend to enjoy the same things when we enjoy media. So. <laughs> I mean, who, who knows? Again, I played this game over 15 years ago, so mm -hmm. maybe it's not as bad as I remember, but maybe it'll be even worse now from a po maybe. international politics Co point of view. <laughs> Coco from the future... I want you to listen to the rest of the episodes, hear this part, and if it absolutely doesn't apply, <laughs> put it over it when she fumes <laughs> with echoes and shit. <laughs> future Coco's got you covered. Get that knife. Oh Thanks, my future God. Coco. You're a babe. <laughs> Wink. I mean, all Coco's are babe, but you know. <laughs> yeah. The KGH incident. It was a very emotionally trying case. We stood in that courtroom, Fairday as the prosecutor, and I as the lead detective. Fairday had evidence in his possession that would prove the defendant guilty. However, because it was stolen, the defendant was found innocent. You was the elder sister of the victim in the case. When the defendant was pronounced not guilty, she let out a great wail. That's when we realized that there was a limit to what the law could do. The only way to bring someone like that to justice was to do so outside of the courts. That's what we thought at the time. That's how we formed the Yatagarasu and vowed to bring to light any dirty dealings companies had with the ring, including companies that dealt with the Amano group. Hmm? Mr. Amano's conglomerate. We called ourselves the Yatagarasu and flexed our collective muscle. We exposed all sorts of shady dealings as a warning to the business world as a whole. By doing that, we were able to stop the higher-ups from covering the things up. And then it was finally time. We had finally arrived at the moment when we found out the ringleader's true identity. It was then that you literally stabbed us in the heart. And fair day, he died for it. But why? Wasn't she the sister of the victim in the KG-8 incident? After fair day's death, I looked into her past. And that's when I found out that she was a phony. The victim of the KG-8 incident, CCU. She never had a sister. What? Then that means... Sheena wasn't the only fake name she used. Callisto Yu was also another pseudonym. From the very beginning, that woman was a spy sent by the smuggling ring. She said it to herself. I was destined to betray everyone from the very beginning. 
Anyway, let's return to the real topic at hand. Mr. Edgeworth. This trump card that we stuck onto this page of the case file. Please use it wisely. Trump card. That photo that we stuck on there. Try peeling it off. Behind it slumbers a piece of evidence that Faraday hid away all those years ago. It's the mark of the Atagrasu, but why? This is a directive's card from the big boss. Take a look at the back. Big boss? Of Helios. This was something Cochin had on him at the time of the KG-8 incident ten years ago. That blood is from the victim of the incident, Miss CCU. Do you mean he killed her with this card? <laughs> Sharp angles. Well, but why is the card adorned with the mark of the Atsugarasu? See, who is it that attacks with cards and I'm like, you're thinking of Gambit. <laughs> yeah, he's the best. <laughs> the reason why we called ourselves the Yatugarasu was because of the three-legged raven mark that smuggling that the smuggling rings boss used. Apparently, orders from the boss would come on these cards without fail. The person who received the order was supposed to burn it immediately after reading it. And apparently, it burns a bright green flame when set ablaze. So you mean, the cards were written in Babylon's ink? The fact that the card the coaching was sent made it into Faraday's hands at all, is nothing short of a miracle. We decided that whenever we stole anything, we would send a card along with it to the police. So that's what those white cards are. The great thief used the mark that only those within the ring would know. It was our message to the ringleader that we were only a few steps behind. And one more thing, Detective Gumshoe, I'm entrusting this to you, this lollipop. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's this song? I love how her braids all went there. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I was talking about earlier. A lollipop. Yes. <laughs> the KG-8 incident trial. Faraday had this in his possession. <laughs> yeah, you've had it that long. Going? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Wally Wong. God, didn't even realize this was an everlasting gob stop up. <laughs> <laughs> this important, definitive piece of evidence. But I thought it was stolen. How do you have it? The person who stole it from us ten years ago was that so lollipop funny gets around. <laughs> <laughs> was a man by the name of Ernest Amano. You and know that's an indirect kiss, right? If it's been in his mouth and it's been in your mouth. <laughs> yes, that's why, why I've never let water? go of it. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he had it locked and hidden away for all this time. But we forced him to tell us where it was, finally, <laughs> after the other day's kidnapping case. We're gonna forget that tape exists because we thought it was a lollipop all along. <laughs> like, oh yeah, the tape, that's what he was really talking about. <laughs> I guarantee you, we'll blank on this later on and Coco will be like, you guys are really <laughs> annoying. <laughs> This video. That'll help me remember what it was. Oh, I don't remember. 
Wasn't it like a, whoa, surfer dude, Sonic kind of voice? <laughs> Don't come any closer, I'm warning you! Good. <laughs> this is the same video as the one Mr. Portsman was trying to conceal from me. That bastard. <laughs> yeah. It would seem that even he was caught up in the ring's web. Amano was preparing to take on the boss someday. And the video was his insurance. That's where that prosecutor comes in. He was to retrieve the video. On top of that, he was apparently instructed to sneak into your office. And steal the trump card. You saw it for yourself, right? The card that told him to preserve the evidence. Then that card was not the calling card of the Yatsukarasu. But rather a director's card from the ringleader to Mr. Portsman. The two pieces together make for a strong weapon for whoever holds them. The evidence Mr. Portsman thought to withhold from me the one that you stole from my office last night. Both pieces are illegal, and for me to use either one is... Whether you use them or not is up to you. But they will be of help to you when you take on someone who is above the law. one of those who cannot be brought to court that Mr. Faraday spoke of. Detective Bad. There's lo no limit to the law, for it is the people who determine the limits to them. You still insist that, even now, <laughs> you really are something else. I leave the rest in your hands. Not the light bulb, though. Don't put it in my hand. <laughs> Ew. He puts that sticky <laughs> side down. <laughs> <laughs> now then, Detective Gumshoe. The handcuffs. It's time to lock up the last remaining member of the Yatagarasu. Oops. Don't ever lose your detective spirit. Pops, why is this happening? This is justice. Like I always told you, do not get emotionally involved. Now, let's go. Is the most emotionally involved. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> yes, sir. Kay's been in that pose this whole time. <laughs> Poor Kay. She's really sad. I'm really sad. <laughs> Is this really the end of a legend? We'll never know if she moved from that sad pose. <laughs> Where to now, game? What are you going to do now to us? <laughs> oh, game! What are you going to do now? <laughs> Play a video on a lollipop, that's what. <laughs> we definitely are going to forget about the lollipop. <laughs> <laughs> There's no a doubt in my mind. Sorry. 15, 12.07am, Theatre Natalis, Lobby. So, now we know who the Yatakarasu really was. And yet there remains so much to this case that needs to be resolved. Like how the weapons crossed country lines, for example. The two countries have incredibly thick security systems and entry procedures. Short of a miracle, it's impossible for someone to have smuggled them in. 
smuggling them in. Huh? We will need to open a new line of investigation on just this aspect alone. But before we do, I would like to go through my evidence once more. Unnecessary evidence has been removed, remaining evidence has been rearranged. I have to say it out loud, it helps me get my <laughs> chi in order. Hey, there's a VCR here, sir! Put the lollipop in it. <laughs> now we can see what's on that lollipop Detective Bad gave us! <laughs> Technology these days is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> this piece of evidence from the KG8 incident, hidden from sight for ten long years. Gathering dust, losing its flavour. <laughs> I just know this is related to the current case somehow. <laughs> yeah, because Detective Van just told you it was. Next one. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, if you could please play the lollipop for us. Sure thing, sir. Seen him before. This man. I've seen him before. <laughs> it's Manny Kochen. Uh, and he's holding a knife in his hand. <clears throat> a knife. This looks like footage from a security camera at the entrance of an apartment building. An apartment building. How do you figure that? Unlike you, I actually read the summary file on the KG-8 incident. And the crime scene was the victim's own apartment. So this footage was shot at the entrance to the victim's own apartment. At the trial, Mr. Faraday claimed that this piece of footage existed. However, no one could find it. Yes. Somehow, someone was able to steal it and hide it through Mr. Ernest Amano. I can see how this would have been a definitive piece and why someone would want to hide it. It's a piece of evidence for a ten-year-old case. There's no way it's related to the case we're working on now, sir! I've not played these games before! I don't know how this works! <laughs> Actually, I believe it has everything to do with the case we're working on now. Don't tackle me. <laughs> Stop it! Me even went so far as to use Mr. Paul to retrieve it. Which means in this video lies a very inconvenient bit of footage to the ringleader. Where? <laughs> Where? Spinning the lollipop really fast to fast forward it. <laughs> <clears throat> Wait, what was that? Literally the same picture we just saw, sir. <laughs> huh? That bit you played just now. Please show it to me again. <gasps> Enhance. Zoom. <laughs> this car. This is something we cannot overlook. Uh, why is that, sir? Because I don't want to. Look here, Detective Gumshoe. Could it possibly be the flag? Conspicuously on it? <laughs> no! <laughs> this is the national flag of the Principality of Cadopia. And because it has the national flag on it, we know this to be an official government car. The question we should be asking ourselves is, what was a government car doing there? Oh, Miss Van Karma and Mr. Edgeworth, so you were here all this time. Well, Gandalf can move fast. <laughs> Ambassador Alba. Thank you very much for continuing the investigation, even at this time of night. Oh, if only I was even a tiny bit more careful. This tragedy would never have happened. I am truly sorry. 
This wasn't your fault, sir. This had nothing to do with how careful you were. You idiot, Quirkus! You couldn't chase after a simple thief! Now then, let's get down to the real reason why I came looking for the two of you. I would like you to put the investigation on hold for a while. Can you do that? Excuse me? I heard you apprehended the thief that turned this embassy upside down. And we were in the middle of an event celebrating our country's reconciliation. We can't exactly have the police and detectives walking around here forever. You're scaring the visitors away, so I hope you can understand how I feel. Mm. We must finish our investigation and resolve the remaining issues. Why don't we leave the rest to the Alabastian and Babylese police? Ambassador, we are so close! Just a little more and... Miss Von Karma, I'm afraid I've made up my mind. And without my permission, you can't proceed with your investigation anyway, right? Uh, that's true, uh, however... What if I take my shirt off? What if Gumshu takes his shirt off? Mm. So As, I'm not volunteering my sister. It's me or him. <laughs> mm. As he said at the very beginning, this area can be considered to be Alabastian soil. In which case we are nothing but foreigners in their land. Is this really where our investigation ends? Shifu, we found Mr. Edgeworth, sir! <laughs> Shifu, this way! <laughs> Yo! Oh my god! <laughs> Agent Lang, you're back on the scene rather quickly. If I laid back and took a break, I'd at least lose the scent of my prey, Mr. Prosecutor. You did that cool Mr. Miyagi thing, didn't you? You Agent... he healed your leg somehow. Agent Lang, why in the... Why have you returned? Because I have to solve this case no matter what. Well, I'm sorry to inform you. Oh, and don't take this the wrong way. I don't suspect you personally. However, a member of Interpol was just found to be a thief, and so... Under these circumstances, I wish to put your investigation on hold. After all, I believe our own police can handle things from here. They are quite capable. <sighs> At this rate, our investigation really will come to a close. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Ambassador Alba, I get it now. I really do. Oh, I'm very glad you understand how I feel. No, not that. What I was talking about is... I know who the killer is behind tonight's murder. You. N no the killer D do you really mean that agent lang <laughs> wolves don't lie 
<laughs> then who is it? Well, let me first say that I'm not talking about Mr. Cochin's murder. That was all Sheena. Wang Shi says, the truth lies not under the exit, but rather shines outside the maze itself. The truth is unexpectedly simple. So let me ask you this. Who do you think was Dimas the Second's killer? <clears throat> I'll tell you who. It was you, Francisca von Karma! I was the killer? Oh, please, I would do a much better job than that. <laughs> hey, wait! But that's impossible. A much better job than that. <laughs> <laughs> Although that whip is actually quite ah! Hold your Whoa! tongue. You are right the first time, and that ludicrous <laughs> remark you are about to make. Agent Lang, are you seriously accusing her of murder? Yeah. I am. He doesn't appear to be joking. Hey, sis. I remember that just before Ambassador Alba went to give his speech. He called you into his office, right? I yes, he did. But what does this have to do with anything? I'm getting to that. Furthermore, in order to solve both cases... You moved around rather fleet freely between all of Boston Bobble, did you not? Objection! And there is your evidence that I am the killer. Hmm. I was just getting to that. Trust me, I'll show them to you in due time. Sorry, it was loading really slowly for me. <laughs> <laughs> Ambassador Alba, in order for me to bring this case to a close, I'll need to inspect your office one more time. Will you grant me permission? Hmm. Hmm. With things as they are, I suppose I don't have much of a choice, do I? Good. Then let's move out! Thanks, Lang. Oh, and don't even think about running away, sis. My pad will be keeping a close eye on you. You can bet your bottom dollar on that. Hmm. As if I would have any reason to flee. But just so we're clear, your logic had better be sound. Or you will become a bottom permanently. <laughs> because I'll I mean... <laughs> I'd, I'd switch for you, but you're like not in a dude, so, you know. <laughs> I'm a top for guys and a switch for girls, it's kind of like that. <laughs> oh, I see. I see, understandable. Because I'll accept nothing short of a perfect explanation. <laughs> she seems rather upset. Not that I blame her. <laughs> I expected that you'd accept no less. But we'll see how long you can keep that nose of yours stuck up in the air like that. Oof. Agent Lang. As someone related to tonight's case, I request that you allow me to take part. And so that I may clean up my superior's mess. <laughs> Ooh, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I guess I should. The more the merrier, especially when it's the peanut gallery. Oh, in that case, I want to join in too. I still haven't seen what it looks like in Alabast yet. It's a peanut. <laughs> <laughs> if you like can, then you've got to let me in too, pal. <laughs> Have a peanut, I'll go right up your nose. Amen. <laughs> Can I 
Carrie sit around and do nothing when Miss Von Karma's a troll. She's like really nice to me and shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gummy, let's have a competition to see who can save her first, okay? Okay, I'll take you up on that. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm fired up and ready to go. First one to say Francisca gets a kiss, except not any of the men. <laughs> oh, what's the boy? What a kiss <laughs> on the cheek! Yeah, a, a, a kiss on the forehead. <laughs> Your forehead is too small. <laughs> <laughs> As a detective, I don't believe this is something you're supposed to be excited over. Sounds like this is gonna get real interesting. Ambassador Alba, I'll be bringing these kids along for the ride. Mm, very well. But I'd like you to keep in mind that this will be your last chance. Hmm. I'll have this whole mess cleaned up before you know it. Now let's go! And with that, we will end this episode right here. Thank you folks for joining us and see you next time. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs>